Try that again. And there we go. And and if you don't want to, like, understandably, if you don't want to spend two plus ultras, you can still get really good damage off of a single one to an Aizawa. And you're getting yeah, yeah, 17,000 damage. We can go into his combos. So Todoroki, I'll add setups into this section as well because I don't think Todoroki excels at combos because he does he does maybe a bit below average damage, but he still gets pretty decent damage. So. A normal BNB that you're going to be doing for one dash cancel with Todoroki is going to be three attacks into the two ice moves, quirk two, quirk one, to the beginning of the armor move in the air. <laughs> okay, I'll try and explain that better. So, after you've done three attacks into quirk two, quirk one, you dash cancel into three hits into the armor move, but don't let the whole thing hit or else they'll be meteor blowed. And then after you see a few hits of this hit, just like two, then you go into, um, oh yeah, tilt quirk two in the air, guys, is this like freeze move. So you go tilt quirk two, quirk two, quirk one. And so the air segment is gonna look like this. And do pretty decent damage. And the whole combo on its own is gonna look like this. There we go, that did a bit less damage than usual. It does vary sometimes, sometimes it does 10,000, sometimes it does... There we go, that's going to do about 10,000, or 9,900. Yeah, so basically 10,000 for one dash cancel, that's really good. Um, with Todoroki, uh, less is more with his combos. You can add things in, like I could have put the armor move in there, but that actually causes him to get a media blow, like a lot earlier, and then he gets far less damage than he would have if he just did a simpler combo. Like sometimes, even if you just go into this and dash cancel, you can get really, like, pretty decent damage. Even though you've simplified it, you're getting more damage. Um, if you get a combo in the air with Todoroki, you can basically go into the same thing. Just dash cancel after the fireball. Oops. Um, but make sure you cancel the, um, the armor attack a bit early before it all hits, or else it'll have an early meteor blow. And yeah, that was an optimal. I think you can get about 9,700. Yeah, whatever. So it's a similar way you just do the air combo twice and dash cancel after the fireball. If you get a meteor, I mean a wall splat, which is pretty common with Todoroki since he has this great move. I like to just go into the air uh, and do his air segment of his combos and go from there and do whatever dash cancels I want. You can get pretty easy damage that way. And that wasn't even a full combo because it was just from a raw quirk too. Um, obviously you can do all the same combos off of his red attack. You don't mess them up. And if they get frozen, you can go into practically the same thing. If you want to spend two dash cancels with Todoroki, I suggest going into... You can go quirk 2 into quirk 1, and then you dash cancel and land on the ground, and then do the same thing again. So if you go 1, 2, 3, land on the ground, 1, 2, 3, and then you go into the combo. Oops. Try that again. And there we go. And then he's getting an easy 10,500 damage, which is pretty good. So if you do two dash cancels, then you're getting above average damage, but usually you're only going to get about 9,000 or something. And sometimes if you drop it, you'll only get like 8,000. But he's still getting pretty decent damage off almost every touch, and his combos are pretty easy. Like the only, uh, the hardest thing I would say is making sure you time this. Like there, you can mess it up if you do his attack a bit late, and then they're on the ground. 
But this looks really cool. And it's pretty easy to shoot. Yeah, there I got even a bit more damage. Um, Todoroki can... You can do some extra flashy combos, because he's a lot of combo tools that work practically the same way. So I could do three hits into this, into this, and then dash cancel and get almost the same amount of damage. A bit less, but you know, if you want to be fancy, change it up. Um, you can actually get some unusual combos if you're facing a wall. You can do the whole armor attack and cancel into the foot tool because they'll bounce into them. And you can get some fancy combos that way if you want to. Also, if you're facing at the wall, you can do this meterless combo by going into the tilt quad one. And that's 9,000-ish for no dash cancel, which is pretty good. It's usually he'd only be getting something like this if he doesn't have any meter. Um, or if you have this charged, you can go into something like... Like that for no meter, and then you set up another one of these. And that's something else I want to talk about with Todoroki and his combos. A lot of the time I like to just not do a full combo and then just end in that, so then I have time to set up the other one, and then they're standing inside. So inside that, so I can get an easy setup off of it. So I do three attacks to quirk two, quirk one, and then I put another quirk one, and then they're stuck inside of it. If they don't block, they're gonna get hit. If they block, I do my red attack. It's a really tricky and evil setup that I like to do a lot. Um, and you can get pretty easy damage off of it. Or you could do it into that if you want as well, and if they move, then you get an air combo. It, he's very easy to do like setups with these, these ice moves. And if you have time, you could even go into something like this. But if I'm doing that, I usually like to go from this move, because then they're a bit further away. And now look at how much ice the opponent has to deal with. It's just like on the screen, there's just nothing that they can do. And so you can go in for a red attack there. So that's usually the only time I use a grounded tilt quirk 2, is to set up all of this ice. That wasn't an optimal at all, but it still did really good damage. So you can see my point, he's really good at setups. Um, he can also really easily... The reason I have these really basic supports is because he can super easily combo off of his plus ultra 1 with someone like Aizawa or Jiro. And get super easy damage. Yeah. And that was only 2 plus ultra meters and I think it did, what, 18,000 damage? So, it's pretty easy. And if you don't want to, like, understandably, if you don't want to spend 2 plus ultras, you can still get really good damage off of a single one to an Aizawa. And you're getting, yeah, there, 17,000 damage for a single plus ultra into a combo using Aizawa. So he gets really good damage off of those, and that's a, also a reason why I like to usually end my combos with this and go for setups, because they don't actually cost me any meter. So I can save up and go for my really damaging plus ultra combos, which is unbreakable most of it if I go into the plus ultra. They can't bring out the supports when you're in the plus ultra. So yeah, and you can get really easy damage that way. And I think with all those combos gone over, that's about Todoroki in a nutshell. He really benefits from doing setups, making sure he always has lots of ice on the screen, making sure the opponent can't just run around and be willy-nilly. Yeah, but he can also do really big damage if he wants. He can also decide to go for lower damage to set up for a reset, to go for damage later. And, or he can save his meter completely and 
spend the whole game storing up for doing a bunch of plus ultra ones to go into some crazy combos. Or 21s. And I'm gonna end this combo with the plus ultra 2, which is impossible usually, but I'll show you what it looks like. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. Todoroki's really fun even though people are saying he's weak. He's, I think he's really good at setups and controlling the screen. Even though he does a bit below average damage, he's a really solid character, has a really great red attack for when you have all the ice up. And yeah, he's just really fun to use, has great movement, easy combos, and a lot of combo... Um, Freedom, he can go in, he can do all sorts of different combos if he wants. He's not restricted to always doing the same combo always. He can spend no meter, he can spend a bunch of meter. He's really free to do whatever he wants. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!